Hey guys, George NGL Performance here. I'm continuing on the twin turbo small block Chevy 2000 horsepower build. And yesterday I showed you guys the issue with the push rod being closed. I said today I'm gonna place all my rockers, number them so we can know which way we're gonna make a groove here, a passage for the push rod to have some extra clearance. And of course, I ran into another problem. And, and to be honest, I'm kind of fed up. And this is totally unacceptable when you're paying this kind of crazy money for parts and things are not done correctly. So take it for what it is. You know, people see me use like, uh, you know, um, cheaper quality parts on builds and they say ah oh, this is chinese this is this this is that today it does not mean anything it's a hit or a miss with everything beautiful rockers from jezel three and a half thousand dollars it took eight weeks to get them made three and a half thousand dollars i didn't make any money on this the customer bought it directly from the company i said buy this it's top of the line, and it is. I'm not saying anything, but this is unacceptable, okay? You see how the bolts are staggered? This bolt goes this way, the other bolt goes this way, and they're all symmetrical. They're all symmetrical, okay? The jezel, the stand is correctly placed. So they're all the same pattern, okay? So I went to put this one over there and I said, there's something wrong with, there's something wrong with the pattern over here. Maybe they did it this way because it has to go on a, on a corner, maybe need a more offset or something. And I'm like, it's impossible. I'm just done placing all of them right now. And my best guess, the person that installed this it's supposed to be this way, the pin. So this pin has to come out and reverse the other way. So look, once this goes in, my bolts do not line up. I mean, it's gonna take me some time now carefully to take this out, take the shaft out and more than likely it is the correct shaft but it goes one way so the person that installed this did not install it the right way you see what i mean if i put it this way right if i put it this way look at that <laughs> you know i'm freaking believable that after you pay this kind of money you have to deal with this. I'm not trying to bash anybody or any company, but when you charge a customer three and a half thousand dollars for a set of rockers, you better make sure everything is perfect before it leaves your hands. Because now I have to work, right? I have to work to make this right. And maybe one of these clips it's gonna get busted or it's gonna lose tension and I don't have any spare parts over here. You see, if we, I can't put it around because, let me see if my guess is correct. Well, I can't even put it in because, but you can kind of see, it's not even that. I have to call them up, see what the freaking problem is here. Maybe they mixed the, uh, because now this one has, <sighs> hmm. you see here to here, it cannot go the other way. It's, it's the wrong, uh, it's the wrong shaft because the, the space from here to here, it's not equal from the space from here to here. 
So, wow. Wow, another delay now. Great. Unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. It's frustrating. Look. Can go in. And if I judge the spacing from here to here, uh, it's definitely not gonna work. Definitely not gonna work. It's not the right, uh, I don't know how they mix this up, but it's not the correct shaft because you can see it by the eye. On the intake side, because the rocker is offset, it's got a bigger space in between. So even if I were to flip her around, it's still not gonna work. Just another day in the high performance world. Everybody thinks that you buy the best brands and everything just goes together and everything works great. It does not. It does not mean anything. You can buy the best of the best. It still doesn't mean anything. And I'm not bashing anybody. Here's the proof right here. Unacceptable. And not only that, we, okay, this, whatever. We have to machine it, fine. George MGR Performance. I gotta call up Jezel and more than likely they, they they use one wrong shaft for whatever reason. I don't know why. Mistakes do happen, but it's frustrating after eight weeks. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna take. And I just became my problem. I made no money on the part. I did not sell the part. And I'm the one that has to sit here and deal with the problem. That's just constantly the same story. George MGR Performance, I'm not trying to Bash anybody, I'm just showing you exactly what I have to deal with. Right here. As you can see, this, this go straight up and this on an angle. I mean, this is beautiful. I wanted this shaft system. I told the client to buy this, right? So, but this here, I don't know what the hell is going on, to be honest. It must be the wrong, uh, the wrong shaft over here. Thanks for watching. I just went one step front and three steps back. Typical racing engine build stuff. You just, this is an, an engine would run for two years. All we did right now, get shaft mount rockers. And now we have machining to do. This is wrong. The valve covers probably they're gonna hit here. We're gonna diff, different valve covers, all kinds of, all kinds of one thing would change, one thing. Imagine I put aluminum rods in here, that they're much thicker. Imagine all the other stuff that I would have to deal with. You know, even though it's a raised cam, 391 raised, it still would have been close to the cam and more grinding at the bottom of the cylinders and all kinds of, it never ends and stuff. So, for the ones I think that this is easy and, and what we charge, it's enough. I never, ever, 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 ever charge the hours that I that I put in. You know, I just walked in, I spent an hour down the drain. What am I gonna tell the customer? Oh, I'm gonna charge an hour because this guy's made it. Technically I should, but you know, it's non-stop. It's non-stop issues in this business. It's not like people think it is. It's very hard. That's why a lot of shops are not honest because they don't make money and they try to do other stuff and screw customers. Here, we don't work like that. I have a regular mechanics garage, three lifts in the front. We have regular in and outs. I have a dyno, I build engines. As a whole business, we're doing well. But if you just do this for a living in Canada, that the winter lasts for like forever and the racing season is two months, you aren't gonna be very uh, profitable doing just this.
George MGL Performance, thanks for watching. Gotta call them up. Probably they used the wrong shaft. I don't know what to be honest, but I'm pretty disappointed at this point, to be honest.